Selecting the date and time in the new library reports has been made easier. To get started, select a report type. As an example, we'll look at their payments reports. From here, you can start by selecting a day, a month, or a year. Let's look at the current month. Here you can use the left or right arrows to move between the individual months. Click the center area to select from a drop-down list. The year works in the same way. With day selected, click the left or right arrows to move between the individual days. Use the date selector area for the calendar view to select a specific date. Click the range area to set a date for the date range. Click the start area to select the start time for the first day in the date range. Click the end area to select the end time for the last day in the date range. If you change other settings, the date filters remain the same as you've selected. If you click on the X, when you have a start or end time selected, it will reset the report to only respect the date range.